In this video, we'll take you through the steps required to connect your Apple iPhone or iPad to the Canon EOS M50. We'll start by downloading the Canon Camera Connect app from the Apple App Store before configuring the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi connections. Finally, we'll go through the basic features of the app and make sure that everything's working as it should. All up, it'll take about 5 to 10 minutes to get up and running. If you're following along with your own Apple device, you may need to pause or replay the video every now and again. Let's get started. First up, we need to download and install the app. Head on over to the Apple App Store and search for Canon Camera Connect. It's completely free. Now it's time to open up the app and configure the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi connections. Canon Camera Connect will ask your permission to send you notifications, access your Photos app and also your GPS location. These requests are all to do with how the app works, so you'll need to agree to them all for it to work properly. If you're also prompted to enable Bluetooth on your device, it's really important that you do so before moving on. You can browse the welcome screens or just cut to the chase by tapping the skip button. Now, this bit's really important, so don't tap anything just yet. We're going to tap the close button here and show you the fastest way to connect. Make sure you're on this screen. Now, switch on the camera and press the menu button. Go to the Function Settings menu and then look for Wireless Communication Settings on the first tab. This is where we're going to enable the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi connections, as well as confirm the name that your camera will be known by. Make sure that Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are enabled on your device before continuing. In the Bluetooth Function menu, set the connection type to Smartphone. After tapping the Set OK button, you'll be prompted to confirm the name of the camera. You can change this name if you want to, before tapping the Menu OK button to confirm. Tap the Pairing option to kick off the Bluetooth connection process. We've already installed the app, so tap Do Not Display on this screen. In a short space of time, the app will detect the camera's Bluetooth signal. Tap on the camera's name and accept the Bluetooth pairing request. The camera will then ask you to approve the connection. Once you've done this, both the camera and your device will confirm that a successful pairing has been made. Now it's time to set up the Wi-Fi connection. On the camera, go back to the previous menu and into the Wi-Fi settings screen to enable Wi-Fi. Once enabled, go back to the app on your mobile device and tap Remote Live View Shooting. This will initiate the Wi-Fi connection. Tap the Join button when prompted. After a short while, the Wi-Fi connection between your smartphone and your camera will be established and you'll see confirmation on screen. Let's just check everything's working properly and give you a quick overview of what's possible with Canon Camera Connect. First, we'll test the remote live view function. What you're seeing here is a real-time view of what the camera is seeing. This function is useful for when you want to mount your camera on a tripod and capture photos remotely. Select your focus point and then tap the shutter release button on the app. The camera captures a photo which is saved to your camera's memory card just like any other photo. So what if you wanted to download this picture to your mobile device or indeed any other photo that you've shot with the camera? Well, it's just as easy. Go back to the main screen of the app by pressing the left hand arrow at the top of the screen and then tap images on camera. What you're seeing here are thumbnails of all the images that are stored on the camera's memory card. You can browse these images and even download them to your smartphone. They're saved in the Photos app, meaning that you can share them just as you would with any other photo. You can also enable the Auto Transfer option. This feature automatically downloads photos to your smartphone as you capture them. It's important to bear in mind that Wi-Fi connectivity will have an impact on battery performance. For this reason, make sure you close the Wi-Fi connection when you don't need it by tapping the Close Connection button, which appears as a small cross to the right of the camera icon. If you want to conserve battery power but still have the ability to shoot remotely, 
you can use the low energy Bluetooth remote controller option. This acts as a remote shutter release and is useful for shooting long exposures on a tripod. Well, that's about it. We hope you found this video useful and that you're looking forward to using Canon Camera Connect with your EOS M50.